one um do i look a lot older because i last made a video in april um and now i am older i think i've grown like an inch since that video um so what's up guys uh the first thing i want to do is apologize for not making a video in so long the second thing i want to do is apologize for that brace fashion video i put up a while ago because now I realize that now that I've become more open about my brace and letting people see it and understand it, um, I guess I've kind of realized that, like, brace fashion doesn't have to mean hiding your brace, and I know that lately because, like, I've been wearing my brace over my clothes. I'm not wearing my brace right now. I have it next to me. Don't tell my mom. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so, like, I've been kind of riding clothes that, like, Maybe you can see part of my brace and it the, the clothes still look good on me. And I quite honestly think that, like, if you want to wear clothes that you, you can see your brace and it still looks good, that's really great and you should. And I feel like maybe saying that brace fashion has mean hiding your brace, like, it doesn't always. Um, And soon I want to make another brace fashion video that's a little bit more, like, summery. Um, because the last one was in November and it was freezing outside. Um, so yeah, and, you know, I just thought that it, brace fashion means being comfortable with your brace and the way your clothes look with that brace and that's what, really, that's what I've come to understand about it. And I'm really sorry if I made it seem like anything else and I hope to make another video that's a little bit more updated soon. Second thing, um, I'm making a lot more friendship bracelets lately. If you like this one, it says rent in the block letters. I made it from a pattern on friendshipbracelets.net. Uh, go there if you like that. Um, I feel like such a professional YouTuber. I'm, like, giving people links to things or, like, I got my clothes and stuff or made, learned how to make friendship bracelets. Okay, so it is summer, um, and I have not made videos for a long time because I had a very busy last few months of the school year. I'll make an update about that later. Um, but, yeah. So, it's summer now, and a lot of people go away, they go to camp, I go to camp, um, and they do a lot of things where you might be away from home with your brace, and you're not gonna be able to, like, handle it the way you usually do. Um, so I guess I thought I'd hope you deal with it because, you know, I'm a professional, I've been to sleepaway camp, um, I've been to the, these events called Youth Cons, which is kind of like, it's, uh, I don't know if other religions do it, but my religion, we kind of like, we go hang out at a congregation, and we stay there overnight, um, for two nights in high school, and then one night if you're in middle school, um, and we like, be around each other, and, um, and sometimes people go on vacation, uh, and so you're gonna, there's a good chance that at one point, like, even just for a sleepover, you'll be away from home, overnight with your brace and that was a little scary for me at first like when I was like going to camp for the first time and I would have to like tell people about my brace or have to like clean it or take it on and off for different activities uh, I think this is gonna be more specifically for there's gonna be like mostly camp skills or like youth con skills or something like that because like I feel like that would be the most complicated because, like, you're away from home and you don't have your parents with you. Um, and a lot of times, like, if you're, like, on vacation, you might not have as much of an issue telling people because your parents will obviously already know if you're in this brace. Um, so the first thing that I'd recommend is, like, know what you're going to pack. Um, summer is one of the harder months for me to hide my brace, so most of my, like, you can see a lot of my brace in a lot of my summer clothes. If you're... If you're like that, you probably don't have to worry about clothes as much, but if you're one of those people who you're not just com if you're not really that comfortable like letting people see your brace because you don't like being asked the questions and we all have days where we just like no. Um so if you're one of if you're if you I would recommend bringing at least like two outfits that it's difficult. You can't really see your brace unless you're looking for it. Um just in case you're having a difficult day and you don't want to have questions asked of like kids at camp are being mean to you or you're just out on the streets and people aren't used to it and they're kind of staring at you or you think they are because you know we all get a little paranoid sometimes um yeah so I normally clean my brace with like um rubbing alcohol from a bottle and then uh like these little cotton swabs um and that's that works um it actually 
I feel like that sustains me longer. Um, so if I have to clean my brace every night or every other night, um, that works for me. But uh, it also can be kind of weird because, well, um, at a youth con recently, I was trying to clean my brace and I spilled rubbing alcohol all over some other kid's soup, um, other kid's sleeping bag. Um, so I would recommend using those like little, like rubbing alcohol squares that you get from the drugstore. Uh, they're like this big and you have to use a lot of them to clean your brace um so use them sparingly and like <laughs> if you're going to camp I'd recommend bringing a whole box of them um so once you get like make sure that you have enough undershirts for your brace um I recommend let me show you what kind I recommend uh the ones that like an orthotist will give you with like the 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 flap that goes over this piece here, um, because they, like, they'll stretch to all eternity, um, and I don't know, they're, they're pretty comfortable, like, they don't get wrinkled under your brace most of the time, um, if you do it the right way, so I would recommend if you have those, bring those, because you're not really gonna want to be, like, sweaty and wrinkly, especially when you're supposed to be having fun, and you don't want your brace to be, like, distracting you, um, so yeah, make sure that you bring, Enough undershirts, I would say bring one extra or like two extras if you have issues because um, <laughs> I know that when I'm at camp and I'll be in a canoe and sometimes in the canoe things get a little bit tipsy. Um, I don't really recommend swimming in your back brace, that's not a very good idea, but you'll have a life jacket on and sometimes you get a little bit tipped over and that's okay because you laugh, but you're not going to, you're going to have to wear your brace unless you take it off um and you're gonna want to have extra shirts or like if you get caught in the rain there's a million possibilities or reasons why you're gonna want to have extra shirts and you'll be grateful you did so this is kind of like how they always say bring an extra change of socks and underwear um just in case so yeah um so the next part is probably like the difficult part i guess for most people it was difficult for me um telling people that you're wearing a back brace so, like, when you're in an environment where no one knows about your brace, it can be pretty intimidating. Um, I was very scared, like, going to youth cons and having to, like, tell the counselors about my brace. And at first, that was all I did, but, um, there was this con in March, um, that I went to. And, I mean, I kind of, like, I, I, I have to take my brace off to go to the bathroom. Um, and this con was... People at the cons are just really accepting. I don't know if you're going somewhere where, where you know you're going to be accepted, but I knew I was going to be accepted. And people saw me putting my brace on and off, and people were like, oh, how'd you hurt your back? Um, and I would explain to them that I had scoliosis. And I let them sign. Unfortunately, those signatures came off because at the time I did not know that you can put tape over signatures. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but... The signatures came off, but people ended up, like, signing my brace, and they asked questions about it, and they weren't, like, asking, like, really, like, oh my god, what's wrong with you? They were asking, like, what's that? Why do you have it? How long do you have to wear it? The typical questions. And, um, I would just recommend, first of all, if you're going to a camp, tell the camp nurse. Tell the camp counselors. Um, and I would recommend telling the people in your cabin, because you don't know how hard it is to try to get changed in front of a bunch of people without them being, like... What is that plastic thing that's always strapped to your back? Um, so, yeah, but um, you can have your, if you're really uncomfortable, you can kind of have your parents talk to the camp nurse or uh, the counselors. Um, I, I've been become comfortable telling people myself about my brace. Um, yeah, so uh, my friends from camp all know about my brace. One of my friends from camp, actually, I have her signature on my brace over here. Um... And yeah, so you can have them sign your brace because that's, you know, shows them that you're comfortable with it and that lets them know that they can, like, ask you questions about it. And try not to get too mad if people ask you questions, especially because if they're asking, like, politely about it, um, they're really not intending any harm. They just want to know. Uh, I know you can be sensitive about it, so if you are, just, like, explain it to them on um, the first night, I would say, and then you can have it over with once and for all. And then the activities. So... Again, this is why I think it's a good idea to be open about your brace. Um, if you have a Boston brace with, like, the straps in the back and you're not, like, super good at doing them yourself, I would say have at least one friend who, like, 
nose to pull it to um, each mark. Um, and so that way you can like get it on and off for each activity. Like, for example, I if I know that I'm going to be playing like a sport uh, or like running around and playing capture the flag, I'm not going to be wearing my brace because it's hard to breathe and it gets hot and uncomfortable. But um, this this past year at camp, we have we have this program called Morning Program, and it has a different theme. And um, there was one day that they decided to, or like more than one day, where they just spontaneously decided to have a yoga class. And it's, do you know how difficult it is to do a yoga class while, like, wearing one of these? So, um, if you have a friend, so, like, you can, like, just go off into the corner and quickly take it on and off and leave it somewhere, or a counselor, that's gonna be really helpful for you. Um, and, yeah, so, if you really need to just take it on and off quickly, you can, like, put it in a safe place with, like, where, like, no one's gonna take it. Not that anyone would take it anyway, and... How hard would it be to find? <laughs> this will be like the flag for capture the flag. Find the piece of plastic with butterflies on it. Um, but yeah, so it's really like, I don't know. I mean, I know it feels like a big deal, but it's once you get used to it, it's really nothing. And if you just kind of let people know about it, I feel like people have been more accepting to me once I accepted my brace. Um, I don't know if it's different. I know that some people are just jerks and you're going to have to deal with them. And, but being at camp, what I rec make sure you that you have everything you need, tell people about it, um, especially, like, the people that you absolutely have to tell are the camp nurse and the camp counselors. Campers are optional, but they're probably gonna find out anyway, let's be honest, so I would just recommend telling them, and, um, make sure that you have some way of getting your brace on and off if you need to, quickly, so that you can participate in all activities. So, have fun with whatever you're doing this summer, um... Or, I guess this happens throughout the year, like, the youth cons happen all, all the seasons, but, I mean, I feel like summer's the big month for people to go do things. I know it is. For me, I go to camp for sleepaway camp, so it's kind of difficult to hide my brace, and I've gotten used to telling people about my brace. All my camp friends know about it, and uh, they helped me name my old brace, um, this one creamsicle because she's orange um yeah this one I named Maureen and it had nothing to do with my camp friends but <laughs> yeah so it's just a fun way to like my brace has become a work in project pro progress art project that's sharpie drawings all over it um stickers and it's really just a part of you and people from my camp accept who I am and I hope that the people wherever you're going accept you too but if they don't they're not really worth your time I know that sounds cheesy but it's really kind of true so have fun and I hope this helped